Welcome back in sports news. The Confederation of African Football has given the 16 countries that will feature in this month's AFCON in Gabon $237,500 each to prepare for the tournament. The money forms part of CAF's responsibility to ensure that participating teams at the Nations Cup get the needed funds to partake in the competition. The amount released is 50% of the total amount all participating teams will get from CAF. Each participating federation is expected to receive a total amount of $475,000. Olivia Giroud's incredible scorpion kick earned Arsenal a 2-0 victory over Crystal Palace at the Emirates. With a cross from Alexis Sanchez delivered behind him, the Frenchman reached the ball with his left foot and looped it over his head. Super Eagle striker Alex Iwobi's header sealed a win that put the Gunners third, nine points behind leaders Chelsea. Tottenham Hotspur thrashed a depleted Watford 4-1 at Vicarage Road to keep pace with the leaders at the top of the table. England internationals Harry Kane and Dele Ali both scored twice as the, as the visitors warmed up for their huge clash at home to Chelsea on Wednesday night in perfect style. Spain came from behind to stun host Australia in the opening match of the Hopman Cup in Perth. The host came into the tournament as the favourites as the combined world rankings of Nick Kregos and his partner Daria Gavril Gavrilova were the lowest in the competition. In the first match of the tie, Caragios brushed off Spain's Feliciano Lopez 6-3, 6-4 to put Australia 1-0 up in the tie. Spain fought back in the women's match as Lara Arobarina outclassed Gavrilova 7-5, 6-1 and set up the decisive mixed doubles. Lopez and Arobarina defeated the pair of Caragios and Gavrilova for love 4-2 to complete overall victory in the tie. Meanwhile, the United States have opened their Hopman Cup campaign in style with a three-love win over Czech Republic in Perth, Australia. The American pair of Jack Sock and Coco Vandewey won both their singles matches to clinch the tie and then made it a clean sweep with victory in the mixed doubles. After Vandewey beat Lucy Hadreka 6-4, 6-2 to open the tie, Sock then edged past Adam Pavlesic in three sets. The Senior Special Assistant to the President of Foreign Affairs and Diaspora, Honorable Abike Dabri Arewa, has condemned the killing of another Nigerian, Tochuku Nadi, in South Africa. A statement issued by her office today reads, the latest gruesome killing of Tochukun Nadi by police in South Africa is unacceptable to the people and government of Nigeria. According to her, the killing of Nadi has brought to 20 the number of Nigerians killed in South Africa through extrajudicial means in 2016 alone. While reiterating President Mahmoud Buhari's call to Nigerians to avoid crimes like drug peddling, which attract stiff penalties, sometimes death, she calls the Nigerians living abroad to always respect the law of their host countries and be good ambassadors of Nigeria, asking that calls for urgent attention by diplomatic asking for urgent attention by pardon by diplomatic authorities of both countries. Tochukun Nadi, a Nigerian based in South Africa, was allegedly choked to death by police last Thursday after he was arrested for allegedly selling drugs. At least 39 people, including 16 foreigners, have been killed in an attack on a nightclub in Istanbul. Turkey's Interior Minister Suleiman Solu says police officers are still hunting for the terrorists who attacked the Rena nightclub last night. Turkish Prime Minister Binali Yildirim visited an Istanbul hospital on Sunday, January the 1st, where he spoke with a man wounded during a gun attack on a nightclub. After a gunman opened fire, the hundreds gathered at a nightclub in Istanbul during the early hours of New Year's Day. Local residents rushed to the sites to check on their friends and relatives. The attack at the popular Reina nightclub 
left 39 people dead and 69 others injured. In the afternoon, the police lifted blockade of the area in the city's Otokoi neighborhood, allowing people to visit the attack site and mourn the victims. Figures show that the Turkish capital of Ankara and its largest city of Istanbul have witnessed at least five terrorist attacks over the past year, causing hundreds of casualties. At least 23 people have been killed, 17 others missing after a ferry caught fire off the coast of Indonesia. The Zara Express ferry was carrying more than 230 people to Tidong Island, a resort which lies about 50 kilometers from the capital, Jakarta. Emergency rescue officials say the ferry burst into flames about 1.5 kilometers from Muara Anke port in Jakarta shortly after setting sail. Reports say about 194 people were rescued while nine others remain in hospital. The remains of the boat have been towed back to Jakarta where images show the devastation caused by the blaze. And the main news again. Renowned international gospel artist Ron Kinoli was the main attraction at the crossover service organized by the Covenant Christian Center in Lagos. The event was dominated by praise and worship. Nigerian governors have been highlighting their plans to improve the standard of living of their citizens in the year 2017. While some of the governors promised to reduce the impact of the economic downturn on their citizens, others have identified viable alternatives to improve the fortunes of their states. And police in Istanbul are hunting a gunman who opened fire in a nightclub in Istanbul, killing at least 39 people. That is the news at 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachu Ubani. Good night. Enjoy the rest of the holiday. Happy New Year.